Purchasing a new caravan or camper trailer can be a really exciting proposition, but there are a number of things that you need to consider as part of your decision making process. Things like budget, accommodation, storage, security. Each of these things have to be considered and we'll talk about these in detail. When it comes to budget, you want to make sure that you can genuinely afford this new purchase. After all, it's probably the third most expensive item you're going to buy after the house and the car. When you're on holidays, the last thing you want to be doing is stressing about how you're supposed to be paying for this thing that you should be enjoying. If we make the assumption that you're not going to buy a new vehicle as well, then when you do purchase that new caravan or camper trailer, you need to make sure that the weight of it is within the towing capacity of your existing vehicle. You're happy that you can afford this new caravan or camper trailer, you've done the sums and you know that you can legally tow it with your existing vehicle, but the final consideration to take into account is have you got the space to store it? One of the major factors to take into account when purchasing your new caravan or camper trailer is where are you going to take it? Are you going to stay on the blacktop or are you going to head off-road? If you're going to head off-road, how adventurous are you going to be? All of these factors will determine which purchase you make. Being on holiday is all about being comfortable. So you must think about what accommodation options you need. You might be a family traveling with some kids, in which case you need a set of bunks or you may be a couple or a pair of empty nesters whereby having a seating arrangement that turns into a bed might be a great option for you. Differentiating between your wants and your needs will be one of the most difficult aspects of purchasing a caravan or a camper trailer. You must justify your decisions because the repercussions will either add weight or reduce storage space. The type of travel that you intend to do will heavily influence your definition of needs and wants. If you're doing the occasional weekend trip, then you probably don't need that full-size oven or even the washing machine. However, if you've just sold the family home to hit the road full-time, you may want to completely replicate all those mod cons that you've just sold. Here are my top mistakes to avoid when you're choosing a caravan or a camper trailer. For total newbies, a common mistake is not to try before you buy. While a modern RV looks an attractive proposition with all the comfort goodies they offer, there are some people who just don't like the caravan or motorhome lifestyle. And this could be for any number of reasons. It might be living in a tight, confined space for long periods, or it might be the towing. Some people consider that stressful, or the process of Hitching and unhitching could be a hassle, not to mention that towing can be much less of a smooth journey than in a normal car. If you're not convinced, it's an expensive mistake. The solution? Well, a surefire way is to make sure you hire or borrow an RV for at least a couple of weeks, and preferably it should be something similar to what you're considering purchasing. That way you not only get an understanding of RV travel, but you'll also pick up a few clues on your likes and dislikes in terms of layout, which will then make your decisions easier come purchase time. The second mistake people make is to make assumptions about caravans, fifth wheelers or camper trailers or even motorhome travel. They all offer something different and each RV style is no better than the other. At the end of the day, it all comes down to how you like to travel and there are advantages and disadvantages to each style of accommodation. They all allow you to get out there and travel and after all, that's the main thing. So, how do you know what's best for you? Well, do your research by reading, watching videos and importantly, talking to other owners of the different styles of touring. Now, caravans are clearly the most common RV choice in Australia, while fifth wheelers are better suited to larger rigs, like those that can tow over three tonne, with the pin weight over the tow vehicle axle. And this might be a big ute or even a flatbed truck. On the other hand, motorhomes are a winner for those who don't like to tow or who are constantly on the move. Camper trailers are fantastic for those on a budget or those who simply like more of an outdoor lifestyle. 
Number three is to not match the tow vehicle and the caravan. This is a really common mistake and it's usually magnified by a failure to understand the relevant tow vehicle and caravan weight ratings like tear mass, gross vehicle mass, max tow, tow ball mass rating, aggregate trailer mass and gross combined mass. The solution? Well, you've just got to understand all of those ratings and if in doubt, get some good advice from an independent source. And that means neither the tow vehicle salesman nor the caravan salesman. In addition, just for safety, allow 100 to 200 kilos between the maximum tow mass rating and the actual loaded weight of the trailer. If you make the assumption that towing a caravan is just a little different to driving a car without a trailer, you're probably in for a surprise. Apart from anything else, caravans have become much heavier in recent years, and that changes vehicle handling dynamics considerably. It's the same deal if you're returning to towing after a long time off. The solution? Well, the best thing you can do is to take a caravan towing course. You might not think that it's a blokey thing to do or you already know it all, but that's really not the case. And make sure your other half takes the test too. It's really not a good idea to buy something, be it a caravan or motorhome, that only the husband is happy to, or worse, even has the license for driving. Far too many dreams come undone because usually he gets incapacitated in some way, meaning that everything can't be moved. In addition, of course, there is the benefit of sharing the driving and the accompanying safety factor that provides. The solution for a couple, buy something that both happy to drive. Purchasing a stolen or written off vehicle can be an absolute heartbreaker. This is a particular problem with second hand caravans that are rebirthed and many people think the problem only actually applies to cars. It doesn't and it's more common than you might think. So how do you tell? The most obvious clue is the price. If it looks too good to be true, then it probably is. Try and establish the RV's provenance, which isn't always easy. But if there's any doubt, then you know what to do walk away. And in any case, you should do a REVS check, and that's actually now called a PPSR check, and discover any potential problems before you part with your money. Many people make the mistake of getting their priorities wrong in the caravan purchase. Whether you're on a budget or not, it's very easy to be dazzled by extras like a slide out barbecue, satellite TV system, extra solar panels and washing machine, while forgetting the less sexy essentials like a good set of towing mirrors, weight distribution hitch, wheel chocks, walls for the awning, and even the 15 amp power lead. The solution is to understand all the essentials of caravanning, not just the goodies which can be prioritized, but the safety and essential items without which any caravan trip would not happen at all. You hear lots of people say, I need an off-road caravan. But why? The craze these days is for off-road caravans and the assumption of the road that might be traveled. But let's face it, a lot of those off-road caravans never actually leave the bitumen. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore off-road caravans and the places that they can take you. I mean, the luxury that you can have in an off-road location way out the back of nowhere, sitting by a creek is absolutely fantastic. But if you're not intending on doing that sort of travel, there's no need to waste the money on that extra heavy-duty caravan.